guys, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday and tell you what, we just finished a whole month of daily videos and this girl here is taking a break from videos. <laughs> so I'm really taking it easy for the next two weeks because work has been really, really, really stressful um, and we got bad weather, it's snowing outside, I got a ton of stuff to do. I'm doing kind of like easy videos, you know, so don't expect me to be going about and doing some crazy stuff for the next two weeks because I need to take a break. So anyway, I wanted to let you know that yes, it is happening. I am changing the hangers in the closet. You guys have all mentioned I should change my hangers to the flat velvet hangers. And I was going to purchase some this weekend. That was really on my agenda to go to um, Bath and Body Works, check the prices there, go to Target, check the prices there. And then I wanted to check another store, I can't remember which one, oh, um, TJ Maxx, and see what they had and check the prices there. And lo and behold, I go to my P.O. box yesterday and one of you sent me an entire box worth of those. There's 50 of them. They are black and there was a gift receipt in it and it just had a, uh, you know, a little note, um, but it didn't have a name. So then I went to the Amazon app and I tried to get the uh, little code, you know, there's like a little barcode to send a thank you card. And I did that, but it still didn't have a name. So anonymous benefactor, <laughs> whoever you are, thank you. I was going to buy them this weekend, but you really beat me to it. So what are we doing today? I'm going to change all the hangers in my closet. Oh, the excitement. <laughs> this is so video worthy, isn't it? Okay. So in case you don't know, because some of you probably are thinking about those too. Um, those are velvet hangers and they're super, super slim. Okay. And the um, anti-slip, they have a little groove right here. So if you have things that are um, a little strap or whatever, you can use that. They do not rotate. See that part right here doesn't rotate. That's the only thing. Uh, they're fairly flexible. Um, these, I think, are just like basically the same that I've had before. Um, but they're anti-slip, so you can have something that is, um, you know, like a fluid type fabric and it wouldn't slip off. And of course, there's the part here where you can put um, your pants, your skirts, um, scarves, whatever. So the advantage of those um, is that they're actually fairly inexpensive. Um, you can get a whole set like this of 50 for like less than a um, dollar a piece, um, sometimes 50 cents a piece. Um, but the advantage of them is that because they are such a slim profile, they actually end up taking less room in your closet and you gain space. Not that I need space in the closet because that would be a um, dead giveaway that I would go and fill out those empty spaces with more Nana clothing style. Okay, so let's go in the closet and uh, yes, that's what I got my best Nana today. Um, we are going to change all of the hangers and see whether or not it really, really gives me room in the closet my closet you guys have all seen it right um nothing exciting i don't have anything worth you know um your time on it but anyway this is the kind that i already have and i'm comparing it with the new kind and they are pretty much the exact same right they are the same so i already have some um not a lot so let's see um I'm gonna pick something like this. This is a fairly heavy jacket that I have um, purchased at the Costco for $19. Um, is it one of the Costco one? I think it is. And let me tell you, this is so stinking warm. <laughs> it's like, you don't need a coat in the winter. You can just go ahead and just wear this. Anyway, so I have a fairly large uh, hanger on it. That's a wooden hanger and you see how um, I have this space right here. So if you have like 50 of those hangers, you're going to have 50 of that space, which is about uh, almost a full inch of closet space that's going to be um, eaten by your wooden hanger. So I'm going to switch to this and we're going to see how much of a difference 
it makes. Um, I'm assuming that if I do the whole closet with those, it will make a difference. Okay, so now we're very, very slim. We're about uh, three-eighths of an inch, okay? So, I'm um, going to do that on everything I have in the closet. So, let me give you a pan first of the amount of space that all my clothes take right now and then we're going to see how much space my clothes take after I switch all the hangers. Okay so this is the closet as of now with a multitude of various hangers. We got plastic hangers, wooden hangers, hangers from the stores that um, tell you what size I am, used to be, currently am. See ya? There's some medium here, there's some 12, there's some large, there's some extra large, another medium, another large, more large. This is a double XL over there. Um, hey, listen, it's like the whole history of weight loss and weight gain here, okay? Um, so this is basically the closet is full, right, with all of the clothes that we have, plus this some downstairs and the hangers. So let me start switching and we'll see whether or not we gain some space. I don't know what kind of excitement we're gonna get here today, but anyway, I'm gonna chit chat with you while I'm doing that. Um, okay, plastic hangers. And what am I gonna do with all those hangers, right? Uh, well, guess what? They're gonna get all wrapped up and I'm going to uh, send them to the Goodwill because they could use hangers, huh? They always have a need for hangers. Um, Okay, so here's a wooden one. Um, you know, talking about Goodwill, I buy a lot of my clothes at Goodwill, and I have no shame. And i tell you why I do that. Um, because I really pick what I want. You know, sometimes you go to the store, and you're basically subject to whatever fashion is going on right now, and whatever colors and patterns they provide you, and the quality is really garbage. So I prefer to purchase my clothes for now um, at thrift store one because I really don't care about clothes we've already been through that scenario uh, it's just a matter that you know with the work that I have and everything I, I don't need to wear really good quality clothes because I do all sorts of crazy stuff like moving furniture cleaning and helping people uh, carrying you know stuff all the time shopping you name it right and you just got to be comfortable and I need to wear comfortable clothes but um, I do like some well-designed clothes once in a while and at the Goodwill especially in my area if you guys are in New Jersey you know what I'm talking about uh, you really do find amazing bargains on designer clothes like the other day, and if I have time at the end of this video, oh, oh I already have one of those on this. Um, I, which, is, which one is that? This is Lens End. Okay. Um, I found a Juicy Couture sweater. And it's a great sweater. And it's in very good condition. And I paid nine bucks for it. And that's the kind of stuff that makes me happy because you know I love cardigans right and I love um, sweaters that are kind of like open in the front or have um, or they don't have any buttons you know which one I'm talking about I love that kind of stuff so I found it Oop, that goes the other way and grabbed it oh what is this you know what guys I'm going to let go of this. Yes, I am. Hey, you never know. I mean, <laughs> get rid of more clothes today. Um, so, yeah, I buy my clothes at Goodwill. Um, and that's what works for me right now. Some of you have mentioned this one. This is one of my favorites. Um, look at me talking about clothes when I just finished saying I don't like clothes. This is from soft surroundings and it has like embroidery in the front right here and it has embroidery right here at the bottom this is very light it covers all the needed area 
um, I really like this. Okay, let's talk a little bit while I'm doing this about upcoming stuff on the channel because I know that you guys have been asking me about projects and what I plan on doing. So you see the stuff just doesn't fall off, right? And that's where there has a tendency to fall. Um, that can go. Um, oh, here's another one of my favorites. That's a Stalin company and... Uh, I don't know where I got that. Anyway, uh, things I need to do. As the weather gets better, I have to finish this room. And by that, I mean that I have to do the ceiling. I have to do the accent paint. And you all know that I need to change the carpet. So that's going to happen this year. I just don't know when in the year. But pretty soon I'm going to get to the uh, uh, ceiling and stuff. I'm waiting for being able to um, open the windows when I do that. So that's one project. Second project is that table I have in the garage. I really, really have to finish it and see whether I want to keep it as a main dining room table, um, depending on what it looks like. The problem is that I don't have an extension for it. So that means that I have to go and um, purchase at least two mahogany leaves or have them custom made and I just don't know if it's worth the investment you know what I mean so I gotta think about it but I'm definitely finishing the table and if I do a good job on it maybe I'll sell it you never know um, so that's project number two project number three that's coming up in the year I'm seriously thinking about redoing the dining room um, and Scott and I have been thinking about, we love the red, but we don't, oh, that's a good one. We don't necessarily have to have that red, because it's pretty much the same red than this. Uh, that's a good one. Um, but you know what? I'm also thinking about wallpaper. And if we keep it in red, we think about changing the red doing more of the cranberry red rather than the tomato red because that's the name of it tomato red <laughs> from bear um you know changing it to a, a darker more not a softer red but you know less vibrant is this a good one yes okay um ugh, this one i love too love that sweater okay so the dining room, the color may change uh, or we're going to switch from um, paint to wallpaper. But I also want to go back to having sheer panels. Um, those curtains that I put in are way too opaque. So I want to change that. And I need to change... For the entire first floor, I need to change the um, blinds because I have the original cocoa blinds and they're just awful. They're the ones that came with the house. We never liked them. They actually block light because they don't go all the way up when you um, open them. So a portion of the light is being blocked off. So it's going to help with this I love too. That's the lens end. Um, it's going to help with making the first floor a little bit brighter. So that's one project. And while I'm doing that, on that floor, I am also considering changing the window treatment in the living room. 
Because I made those curtains with that um, upholstery fabric and it's really heavy duty fabric and I love it, but I think it's too dark. So I need to lighten up the living room. Um, maybe change the yellow. We still wanted yellow, but have a, uh, a different yellow, maybe a yellow that's even lighter. The one I have right now is another bear. It's called Melted Butter and it's very pretty um, and it's bright. But there's areas of the living room that need to be repainted. So we might as well just change the whole yellow. Right? Okay, so I put all 50 hangers. So first, obviously, aesthetically, it looks better because they're all the same. And then on this side here, I'm missing two here for my last two shirts and the rest is Scott's. So this is what your closet looks like when you have a whole bunch of different hangers. And this is what your closet looks like when you have all matching hangers. Does it save space? That's the question. Well, I'm not convinced <laughs> because I still have, you know, um, i tell you what, um, I was expecting to have like a whole gap, right, in between, and I think that some of you did too, um, where it's pretty, pretty neat. Now, I don't think it does when it comes to heavy duty stuff, right, uh, the big sweaters, because ultimately they still take a lot of room. So even if I squish all of my sweaters this way, right, Okay, so let's say I squish them, then I have this gap right here, which is all right. Uh, but we don't want to squish the clothes because that's how you get the wrinkles and stuff. So let's put some space. Okay, um, so if you're going to squish the clothes, yes, it will give you more space. And they're not going to kind of like push themselves back into place, which is what they do when you have the regular hangers because of the bulk from the hangers. So in that sense, it does. Where it is advantages is when it comes to items like um, blouses, right? It allows you to really have uh, more of a space, you see that, between your blouses. So in that sense, yes, it does um, improve overall how your clothes hang in the closet. Like they, these two here, I kind of stuck on each other and obviously they're going to be all wrinkled but those thin hangers allow you to have a little bit more air in between your clothes in particular for blouses so that is an advantage now if I was to squish let's squish everything okay I'm going to squish everything here and I'm going to squish everything there and yes I have all of this space but that's if I squish stuff um, and I don't want to do that so it does give you space if you're going to add clothes and you're going to keep your clothes close together. If you don't want to keep your clothes close together and you kind of want to space them out, then no, it's not going to save you any space. But it does, it does, um, you know, because I, I can still put in a couple of stuff here. So it does save space. A 50 hanger set would probably save you, I would say, eight inches of space in your closet if you were going to leave your clothes the way they were before, which is kind of like a little bit more put together um, or even more like almost a foot, okay? But since I have those, I'm just gonna spread my clothes a little bit more so that it's not gonna give me more space, but it's going to allow the clothes to hang uh, better and have more space in between so that's the final verdict let's see how many um hangers i'm getting rid of i have all of these hangers so if i was to put them side by side or on top of each other that would be a lot of room right so i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to definitely get rid of 
all of the plastic ones. If it's plastic, if it's a hanger from a store, you know, like these, these are definitely hangers from store. They gotta go. They're gonna go in um, either a donation box or I am sending them um, to my recycle. Because those are horrible, I don't want them. And then all the wooden ones, I'm going to keep and they're going to go in the laundry. Or the kids' closet, because they have less clothes than we do. So let me do that, be right back. Okay, so here's a good example. Here's the space that five wooden hangers take. And I can guarantee you that five of those um, velvet probably take no less than this. So yes, it does save you space. But because you gain space, you tend to spread your clothes a little bit more or better or evenly in the closet. And it gives you the illusion that you did not gain anything. You see what I mean? Okay, let me finish this. I'll be right back. Okay, so these are all the wooden hangers that are going down to the laundry room because I don't want to get rid of them. And this is a whole box of plastic hangers and this is all going to go to the donate box and if they don't want them then I have to recycle them. And here's the closet again and yes it does save you space but because you have more space you can now space out your clothes a little bit more so they hang better, right? If I was to add clothes all I have to do is give myself a little bit more room and I have gained a little bit over a foot. So. They do work. Um, it definitely does look much better. It's more uniform. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and purchase the ones I wanted to purchase. And I'm going to do the whole side of the closet here that's Scott's. And then remember, all of my summer clothes is over there. So I have to do that for my summer clothes. And then eventually what I'll do is that I will do um, the kids' clothes as well. And I'm done. Um, I think this was a quick video. It didn't take too long. It took about 30 minutes to do that. Pretty happy with the result. Um, I visually it looks better. You know, that's what I think. Um, so that's a gain right there. Whoever you are out there who sent me those hangers, thank you very, very much. Um, again, you beat me to it because I was going to do it this weekend. Um, you guys have been talking about it for so long now that I should have, um, you know, matching hangers in the closet. It would look better and you're right it does look better so that's a plus for me hey guys i thank you for watching i will see you next time bye